guys welcome back to the channel if it's your first time dropping in tommy kentner here and we have a few more parts in for the midnight purple sti 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 gtr <laughs> all right guys let's see what we got oh, oh yeah we got shirts in stock if y'all need any adam shirts but uh i got a genuine straight from Japan Nismo shifter to go with the white wheels. And then the only real bad spot, which I'll show you out there, it had a little rip in the shifter boot. So I actually found this on eBay, brand new, still in the box. Uh, once again, blocked that out from Japan off eBay, so went ahead and snagged it too. So let's get to installing it. Adrian hit him with the code start. Just unscrew this. Should we do a Christmas giveaway with this? GTR. Oh yeah, and the guys at Rev Hard hooked it up with the t-shirt too. screw up here which I'm going to remove all right guys that's the one screw and then like I said it had this one tear in it but um, like I said I just happened to see this on eBay and it's all brand new so we're going to replace it all right guys it's got these two clips in the back so when it's in there you just pull up and they pop loose and then you take those two clips off and it comes out. So all we gotta do is change the cigarette lighter to the brand new Johnny and we'll be putting it back together. All right guys, it's got that hole and that hole. They make a special tool for it, but if you take two picks, you can get it and it pulls out of this socket so um just to give you a heads up if you want to buy that tool it probably make it a lot easier but it can be done with two picks and it like i said it just slides out of this socket and then i'm going to put it together in the new bezel and then put this thing back together and like i said guys just got two clips hold that on Guys, this packaging is of course Nismo, some Japanese writing. Comment below if we should put the sticker on. I think it goes like right here, but I do like a clean dash, so I don't know. Drop a comment below. All right, let's get this shift knob on. Nismo got those Nismo white face gauges just tying it all together drop a comment below let me know what y'all think feels really solid and also guys like I said let me know if you think should we give, give this away drop a comment below don't forget to hit that subscribe button all right guys, and that was the install on the shifter knob and the shifter bezel with the new shift boot. And uh, 
we'll show you Adrian's progress, what all he's got finished since the last video. So this is some stuff from Radium. Power cable ran, battery, trying to figure out battery location. Got all the new fuel lines and stuff ran as well. A bunch of extra RB parts. Right. And then this right here made a lot more progress. And then this is that box that I was telling y'all about <laughs> that Josh made. It came out really good. I mean, well, Josh made all of this, so, but everything looks really good. Got some danger clamps. And then, like I said, this really worked good. And on these radium fittings, it keeps everything real low. So, it looks really nice. And there's these are really nice, these Wigan clamps. But not too much left. What all do you have left? Uh we got I got some termination for wiring for like the trigger kits. Um and then like the whole the whole fuel system's plumbed to minus one line. Um, and then it's just, I got to extend a couple wires here and there and finish some heater plumbing and like, uh, turbo plumbing really. And that's a couple extra inputs and outputs. Cause I'm putting some extra safeguard sensors in the car just to be safe for coolant pressure. So I know if we lift ahead or anything like that, uh, an extra oil pressure sensor and fuel pressure sensor. And then, uh, we're running individual runner EGT probes also. Mm -hmm. So, trying to give it the best chance to survive as possible. Right. It needs all the chances that it can get. Yeah, we got <laughs> and a potential dyno time that we're trying to make it for. So, yep. Hopefully, end of January, that'll be on the dyno, getting tuned, seeing see what what it'll make. Right. Hoping for those four digits. <laughs> yeah. Definitely with that, John. And then still got to get the power steering hooked up. Yeah, we're going to do a electric power steering. Just kind of cleans everything up, makes everything look nice. You got the hall tech already in it? Yeah, it's just kind of sitting in there because I got a lot of much new, more wires to the pins for, for stuff and got the shifter and stuff installed. But yeah, getting closer. Yep. Just need a. Uh, time <laughs> um, yeah we've actually got yeah. got busy lately so oh yeah it's, haven't had a lot of time to mess with this it's been super crazy busy all right guys uh thank y'all for tuning in on this video with the new shift knob and bezel and some updates on adrian's gtr um we do have future plans for this we got more parts coming and there's more parts coming for Betty White. Uh, we got some back for the powder coater. I forgot, to, almost forgot to show y'all guys, but uh, we'll be, we will be getting it back together soon. So, a bunch of powder coated stuff, powder coated intake, sneak peek. Uh, so stay tuned for that, guys, and. Um, We'll catch you in the next episode. Peace.